So following the report yesterday that Daredevil Born Again was being completely overhauled due to well, it being creatively shockingly bad, uh, we're now getting damage control. Damage control from Vincent D'Onofrio because of course individuals associated with the series don't want to be associated with something which is a bad rap i don't i don't begrudge vincent d'onofrio for saying these things but it absolutely is damage control so we're gonna dive into this today hit subscribe if you're new here uh we'll take a look at this first so daredevil born again rumor may explain why matt murdoch hung up the suit so it's important to to note that the report yesterday stated it was getting a complete creative overhaul why because Marvel executives weren't reviewing the dailies. They had filmed just under half of the episodes of an 18 series, 18 episode series, right? And they weren't reviewing the dailies. Suddenly there's a strike. Marvel executives reviewed some of the footage. No, you should be doing that daily. There are, it's called dailies for a reason, guys. Anyone who's made any forms of films, any they're in the industry in any way, shape or form, will know that this is an incredible oversight that no one was reviewing the dailies. It's baffling that no one was reviewing the dailies. But anyway, so because Marvel executives took the time, finally, to do their job, review the dailies, uh, they realised, ah, this is, this, is, this is crap. So we're going to do a significant creative reboot. So, both writers, fired. Both, all, all the directors for the remaining episodes, fired. Pretty bad, actually. Pretty bad. Kevin Feige is said to have signed off on a pretty major course change. Well, again, he should have been reviewing the dailies. None of this, uh, yeah, this is a given. Alright, so that's what we're dealing with here. Um, now, a lot, a lot of people said, what, well, this is going to be great then. Yeah, maybe. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the same studio that reviewed, presumably, the dailies for She-Hulk, released that, and was proud of it. So, yeah, I'm going to press X to doubt on this actually being good. I'll believe it when I see it for Daredevil. Because, again, this is the studio that put out She-Hulk. Thought it was great. They put out the Eternals. Thought it was great. Unless there's a massive restructuring of their creative... Uh, sort of dynamic within the company this will be garbage it doesn't matter so one aspect of the story that was said to have come in for some criticism from the higher-ups was the fact that the show was shaping up to be more of a courtroom drama procedural than a superhero tale with matt murdoch only suiting up as the villain uh, as the villain as the man without fear in episode four so bearing in mind we'd already seen his costume they wait till episode four to get him back in costume that's ridiculous so why did uh, Matt Murdock in this now hopefully defunct creative direction hang up his costume? Well, according to Can We Get Some Toast, a leaker on Twitter said the devil's cow uh, for over a year after falling, failing to save Foggy. So that's why he, he, he put aside the daredevil costume and cow for over a year because he couldn't save Foggy. Uh, Kingpin would have been mayor, winning on a campaign of backing law enforcement while discouraging street-level heroes like Punisher, Daredevil, uh, and Spider-Man. And if you're if accurate, this would explain why Eldon Henson, who played Foggy Nelson in uh, Netflix's Daredevil, didn't reprise the role for Born Again because he's dead, basically. And this is what was stated. Uh, and then a little bit more as well. Even before Marvel decided to creatively reboot Daredevil Born Again, Karen Page was never considered to be a part of the show, so she's done. Her character wasn't even referenced or alluded to like Foggy Nelson was in the first episode. There's a reason why I never mentioned Karen Page. So there you go. Bizarre. But here is the damage control. So, basically, Vincent D'Onofrio... I'm not going to say called out, but he had some of his tweets gone through and was like, hey, this obviously aged a bit like, you know, milk. Uh, and here's what here's what was said. So here's the tweet in question. So very excited about Daredevil Born Again. Such an incredible cast and crew. Just finished a big scene yesterday. And it was so intense and wonderful working with two of the other cast members. Wow. We all have a lot to look forward to. We, uh, we meaning you two. 
uh, and someone just says, well, now, this aged poorly, which is a perfectly reasonable statement to make. He's not really calling him out, but, hey, it's a reasonable statement to make. And Vincent D'Onofrio, God bless his soul, uh, perfectly nice, actually, in terms of his reply. It wasn't nasty or anything like that. Loads of actors get really defensive. So he just says, look, unless you really know what's going on, there's a chance you could be wrong about this statement. We are going to bring forward the best series we can, one we can be proud of. Have some trust, my friend. Trust. Again, trust is wearing really thin in the audience because they trust, they go to watch, it's garbage. They trust, they go to watch, it's garbage. And this is a repetitive cycle now. And also, we know who funds these companies, and we know what their main primary agenda is. And it isn't good storytelling. It's, can we just check some boxes? So someone goes, he replies, and goes, look, you're right, I don't. I'm just going off reports. My personal feelings about this weird new era of television. Uh, every cool project I've been involved with has evolved constantly during pre-production, production, and post. It's just reported on these days as if it's big news. It's not. It's simple. A bunch of creatives doing their best to get it right. It's a uh, constant in this business. Uh, I've got to expand it a little bit more. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, he said, I wouldn't have it any other way. Frankly, I'd be worried if we were settling for less. Which is true, but he's not debunking it. And this is the problem. You know, he it is damage control. He's trying to downplay it. And that's firmly what's clearly going on here. Is he's trying to downplay it. They, they having to do a complete creative restructuring after filming under half the episodes that's a problem that is absolutely a problem that's an issue with the creative process now that's you know you can say well that's because it's being reported on i maybe that's happened in the past but to this degree uh, yeah. from a business perspective no one should accept that level of complacency with their employees or even from themselves right that's awful and if i was bob Iger. I would be absolutely ripping Kevin Feige a new one, going, what do you mean we're having to redo it? Why weren't you looking at the dailies? Why wasn't your assistant looking at the dailies? What the actual piss? How much money have we wasted on this? That's what I would do. And I'd go, that's coming out of your final salary. Straight away. I'll bet you they'd never make it again. You mess with someone's money, they don't make mistakes again. So, look, he is downplaying it. It is damage control. And this sounds like garbage anyway. This absolutely needed to be redone. But do I have faith that the new creative direction is going to be any good? No, not really. Not really at all. And I like Vincent D'Onofrio. He's a great actor. But Christ, I do not put any faith in this. Remember, they released Secret Invasion and thought that was fine. They released uh, She-Hulk and thought that was fine. So, yeah. Nah. Press X to down.